Guys, you're back. I've already set up the TV to record. You don't have anything coming up for the next two days, do you? Well, no. Well, no? Why do you ask? Don't give me that. Surely you haven't forgotten what day's coming up? Uh, no. Sorry, I got nothing. The Vision Demolition case begins proceedings in a couple of days. Oh. Our old buddy Nicole is going to be on TV representing the Canvas Street residents in court. We can take a little credit for ourselves for helping to expose Vision and its conspiracy. I think it's worth putting the trial on tape. Maybe... You're thinking we could sell Nicole a copy of the tape, aren't you? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Redo TV is streaming it right now. If you're not doing anything, come watch it with me. Welcome to this special preview of the Vision Demolition Case. I'm reporting to you live from the helicopter pad atop Janus Quarters Security Bureau. In a few moments, Charles Perlman, the accused, the cunning hares representing the citizenry, and others involved in the case, will, as is typical, travel to the new Eridu Supreme Court to await trial via the special court of law airship. The court proceedings will be streamed in full, and citizens are encouraged to follow the proceedings from home. Nicole, the airship is almost here, and you still haven't finished packing. And on that note, Nicole, do you really need to pack so many things for court? That's what do you stuff. know? The whole city's following this case. In other words, it's a chance for us to make a name for ourselves. So, of course, I want to make sure I'm putting my best and prettiest face forward. I'm not kidding. I even printed off some flyers about us to pass around to potential clients out in the gallery. Nicole, now. that's your phone. Sounds like a message. Thank you. <laughs> what? Huh? Nicole, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. N nothing. Uh-uh. Don't tell me. It's another deck collection message from one of our loan sharks. Nuh-uh. Put a sock in it, Nekomata. Nicholas we don't owe anybody any money these days. Except for Faithen. And those other five loan sharks. Huh? Why are there more decks than last month? <laughs> Nicole, what's going on? Who's that message from just now? Ugh. Hmm. Gonna look at it. What's going on? Who is that? So many messages. And they're all blank. Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Not long later, it's a the we video are store. All likely to be at the center of debate during the trial. Next, we have a special guest. I thought Perlman's crimes were so outrageous that the trial would be a cakewalk. I never thought they would have to debate over every single detail. No wonder Nicole's been so worried about this case. Nathan! Hello there, proxies. Hey, Nicole, Ambi. What are you two doing here? Nicole, shouldn't you be on your way to catch that airship right now? That was the plan, but I think there's something I need to discuss with you first. Or else I'll be distracted in court. Oof. All right, what's going on? What's going on? What do you want to talk about? Faithen, remember how you asked me a while back to help you track down the hacker Rain? And decrypt the Bellabog Heavy Industries memory unit? Hang on. Are you telling me your conscience has finally overcome you, and you're here to tell us that you two aren't as close as you claimed? Of course not! You can doubt anything about me, but not my connections. Even if Rain is the hottest new thing on Internet, she will still back me up. It's just some weird stuff's been happening to her recently. Mm -hmm. I smell a conspiracy. I can't say right now whether or not it's a conspiracy. Basically, it's just this. Lots of us who are close with Rain, including me, get messages from her every now and then. But they're all blank. Huh? At first, we didn't think anything of it. But then it continued for a couple of weeks. And worse, Apart from these messages, it's like she's disappeared into thin air. And it feels like things are getting worse. 
She used to send one every few days, max. But she's already sent five or six this morning. Huh. That does sound strange. Fairy, can you take a look at these messages from Rain and determine whether they really are blank? Of course, Master. Master, analysis confirms these messages contain absolutely no additional content at all. However, the sender's location is not encrypted. After analysis, the coordinates show the messages were sent near the Ballet Twins buildings. Hold on. Did you say the b Ballet Twins? What's wrong, Nicole? You've gone completely pale. Is there something wrong with that building? You must not care much for urban legends, Proxy. The Ballet Twins are a set of two towers, and lately, there have been popular rumors of paranormal events happening there. People say that there's... Quit, Ambi, enough! <clears throat> uh, anyways, fact of the matter is, those two towers were swallowed up by a hollow years ago. Ordinary people can't transmit data in and out of the hollows like you two. So how could Rain's messages be coming from there? Based on her capabilities, I don't think Fairy would be mistaken. So wise. Seeing as how we're in a hurry to find Rain, and since Nicole is so upset by this, what do you say we go over to the Ballet Twins ourselves to take a look? Fine. I agree. There's no way Rain's messages are anything paranormal. Nicole, we'll go check on Rain's location, but we'll likely end up in the Hollow. Can you lend us Anby and the others? Of course. It's not like I'll need them in court anyway. Oh yeah, this is for you. It might come in handy. I... Hmm? Hang on, Nicole. The girl carrying the backpack? That's Rain? Huh? Is something wrong? I've seen her. She often comes to our store. Huh. You really can't judge a book by its cover. If you want to talk about hidden identities, doesn't Faith and use the video store the same way? Hmm. Anyway, I'll leave Rain to you because I've got a blimp to catch. Proxy, I'll take Billy and Nekomata with me. Meet us later near the Ballet Twins. Goodbye. Please tell me this is chapter 3. Like, please. Ah, yes! Finally, chapter 3. Well, let's freaking do this. Finally, we have fi we have finally have access into chapter 3. Good. <sighs> we made it. But where are the ballet twins? Just across the river inside the hollow. Did that hacker's message really come from the hollow? <gasps> Wait! Look above the hollow! That's the top of the ballet twins. So that's it. I'd heard the companion hollow had shrunk recently. <gasps> and that's left the top of the building exposed. So that means Nicole got that bizarro message from there, right? Even if that's true, what was Rain doing in a place like that? Okay, team, first. Let's think of a way we can get ourselves up there. Whoa. We're here. The ballet twins. Ooh. Impressive. I believe this is where we meet the Victorian housekeeping team. Or group, or faction, whichever you want to call cold, it. Huh? Yeah, it may look all glitzy. It doesn't feel right. Be careful, everyone. This thick fog in here it may hold danger. <laughs> Ew, that almost made me jump. <laughs> I don't think we should stick around here. Let's hurry up and find her. Ambush. Entry into Target Hollow. Ballet Twins area confirmed. 
The ballet buildings were lost to the Hollow ages ago. The lights inside don't work. We'll have limited visibility on this route. Careful. Lights off, candles on. Nicole would approve. We're sleeping better? We're saving money. This should be the scene. Careful! Enemy up ahead! Oh, it's coming for us! Ambush! Everyone okay? I got careless. I didn't think it'd storm us like that. Are... are we back where we started? Let's try to avoid any... unusual enemies. Okay. Let's hit down. Okay, let's just try activating combat mode for now. And hopefully I will be able to get it done, get chapter 3 by, done by the end of this video. Hopefully. Next. Of this. To the right. There you go. Next. Well, that way you stuck it. management terminal here is still operational. I can activate this terminal to reveal nearby areas for exploration. Do it. Ooh, even the lights are back on here.
Hmm, looks like it's deliberately avoiding the light. Interesting. Is it afraid of the light? Let's switch on a few more terminals and see. Wait a minute. There's a flashlight. Really? Hey, manager! Shine the flashlight on that guy! Active ether reaction lost. It works, but it really drains power. once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. It's open it now. Try all the tools you can find. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. Okay, increase one. Fine, I think we need more ammo. This is ridiculously long, though. I don't know why. Next! Oh, we don't you. of their absence. Great, 
The enemy is retreating. We finally made it through. Manager, let's get over there pronto. All right. Let's continue. Get ready to enter battle mode. Or maybe not. This place twists and turns like a maze. Plus it's cold and damp. Way worse than all the other hollows. Oh, I hope the kneecaps I just replaced don't rust. I hope you didn't get cheap ingredients, Billy. That's why I stay away from budget restaurants and save my stomach the hassle. Hmm? What's wrong, oh, Abby? Ever since we set foot in here, I feel like someone or something has been watching us. Same! I got goosebumps as soon as we got here! And I keep feeling something slithering around down by our feet! I just felt it again! Hey, watch the tails! No, no. no, my bad. Hey, manager, couldn't you tell what was going on in the surrounding area and other hollows? Can you see anything now? Sorry, it's a little hard to do now. Not only is this building full of fissures, the hollow data is outdated. We'll need to collect some new data as we explore. Hang on, what's moving over there? Uh oh. Ethereals, take them out. Where the heck did these pests come from? I don't feel like fighting them. All these ethereals are making me feel kind of sick. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Get out of the minions to Zen. Let's clear him out. Right, right. Feel the ultimate starlight. Left on target. Next. Maybe not. Let me check. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Skilled. It's no wonder you were able to walk around the building yep. unhindered. The the but speaking. please, stop there. A wolf, Byron. The ballet twins are private property and are currently closed to visitors. I will allow you 30 seconds to explain your presence before I decide whether or not. Uh... In short, this place is not currently open to the public, and I... I'm sure I have stressed. Both the floors and one's weapons should be kept in pristine condition, have I not? Sorry, Mr. Lycon. I'm really sorry. Okay, Lycon's definitely the leader. So Ellen, stay on task. Professionalism. Coming. Hmm? Corin? Is that you? Huh? Oh, 
Miss Nikamata! And the investigator! Corin, do you know them? Yes, Mr. Lycon. They're the nice people who helped me out of Hollow that time. I see. Rina, for now, you may stand down. As you wish. Whoa! When did you... <laughs> You're quite a perceptive young lady. You almost saw me. She means you were way off, way off, way off. If you aren't mere trespassers, that makes things easier. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We are Victoria Housekeeping. Victoria Housekeeping. Victoria Housekeeping. Never heard of you. Hey, Ambi. Before I met Corin, I never heard of them either. But you're being so blunt, you'll embarrass them. Um. <laughs> what a considerate young lady. But there's no need. Victoria Housekeeping primarily serves a small number of high net worth individuals in New Eridu and does not aim for popularity amongst the general public. Uh, I feel like we're being looked down on, but I can't think of a comeback. <clears throat> and the loading's a good so Everyone, please allow me to apologize on behalf of my companions. I am the head of Victoria Housekeeping, Von Lycon. We have been employed by the owners of the Ballet Twins to provide maintenance services here today. The owners? But I heard the Ballet Brothers who built them went bankrupt ages ago. You are correct. The Ballet Twins are indeed in a long-term state of foreclosure. The Lemony and Hollow's activity has waned as of late, and the city administration is interested in eliminating this sub-hollow here. My employer expects the building to appreciate in value, which is why he put down a deposit. Investing in buildings inside a hollow. Is that how rich people think? Well, whatever they're thinking. Thanks to that guy, we got to see Corn again. Miss Nakamata, investigator. I'm glad to see you again, too. But what are you doing here? This is the master's property. The association shouldn't have any missions here. Uh, well, you see... Corin, the answer's obvious, isn't it? But forget that for now. Do you have anything I can use to kill time? My phone died. <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh, wait, Ellen, you said the answer is obvious. You mean... <laughs> she means that our guests aren't really investigators. I'm guessing, other than Corin, they've all figured out something is up. There is no need to be so wary. Victoria Housekeeping is duty-bound to only our employers. We have no interest in unauthorized personnel within the Hollows. And not to mention, you help Corin. Yeah. Moving forward, if you are willing to be truthful with us, we will do our utmost to assist. We'll say we have to come clean. Well, all right. I'll be straight with you. I'm actually a proxy. Aside from Wayne's true identity as a hacker, you explained to them why you came for Ballet Twins. Well, I didn't expect you to be the legendary proxy Faithen. And you're here to look for a missing friend. Yep. Have you seen anyone? Lycon, have you come across anyone while working in the building? As much as we'd like to help you, the official carrot provided to us is outdated and is unable to give us an accurate picture of what's going on inside the building. Psst, sorry to interrupt, but we've got a tricky situation right now. Nicole what? just called. She says she didn't realize until she got to the landing pad that all members of the Cunning Harris were registered to take the stand. The court requires Billy and the others to attend. So, we gotta take the airship too? But what about helping the manager look for rain? I apologize for eavesdropping, but I have a proposition. What if the proxy works with us? The proxy is looking for someone, and our obsolete hollow data is hindering our work. I believe it would be to our mutual benefit to work together. Hmm. Well? Then I have no objections. Looks like we'll be relying on you. It should be us thanking you. 
I am certain Victoria Housekeeping's work will go much more smoothly with your assistance. In any case, considering Phaethon's reputation, I'm certain our master would be pleased to make your acquaintance. Right. For now, however, getting your friends out of the hollow seems to be the more pressing matter. We can head further into the building together after you finish your business. Understood. Right. Well, as expected, chapter T will be focus will be focus solely more on the Victoria housekeeping. And uh, I'm just curious how long this um, chapter T is gonna take though. I'm just curious. Oh, like on. Sunken courtyard on the other side of the valley trees. Gotcha. And just like that, we will we will be entering a new area. Yeah, I see Lycan. Yep. What am I doing? It would be much better if it's voice though. I'll be with you guys. It would be much better if it's voice. Um, be enough first. Right, last one is going. At this moment, your phone starts ringing. Hey, Wise. How's it going? Have you met up with Victoria Housekeeping yet? Yeah. Good timing. I just met up with them. Hmm. I'm a little jealous you got to chat with them. Okay, all jokes aside, we need to find Rain. Hurry back so we can get ready to enter the hollow. Got it. So let's hit my view. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy and the others are so slow. If they mess up now, the media will sensationalize it. 
Ah, they're coming out, they're coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the defendant in this case, Charles Perlman, arrived at the helipad escorted by authorities. Shockingly, despite the crimes he's being charged with, Perlman shows no signs of being worried. Huh, fools. A real surprise is yet to come. I accept your request. I'll put the instructions in your suitcase for the day you board. Open it two hours after takeoff. Do what the instructions say, and someone will help you get out of New Eridu. Hey, where's my suit for court? Did the suitcase come? It's right here. Good, bring it over. What are you so smug about? It's about to hit the fan, Pearlman. Hit the fan? <laughs> Young lady, you've no idea how horrible this city can get. <laughs> Just you wait. Whatever tricks you have up your sleeve, I'll make sure you get what's coming to you. Boss! Great! You guys finally made it. <sighs> I'm beat. You were running for so long. How come you look fine, Billy? <laughs> the respiratory module I swapped out a few days ago has an anaerobic mode installed. It boosts energy efficiency during workouts. Hmm? What? Oh no! I can't switch back to intake mode! I told you not to use that cheap black market junk. <laughs> Alright, cut it out. Does it really matter if Billy can't breathe? The airship is small anyway, and the air quality isn't great. What's wrong, Anby? Something bothering you? I was just thinking. We left Faith into a group of strangers from a housekeeping company. Is that really okay? Nikomata knew one of them, right? And besides, the ballet twins belongs to their master, so the proxy shouldn't be in any danger. That's not it. I'm concerned once the proxy works with another squad, they'll notice a significant difference in the quality of service and won't want to work with us again. Uh-oh. But don't be silly, Ambi. The cunning hairs are first class, I'll have you know. Besides, we have a relationship with Bathan. Those guys, they're completely new. Nothing to worry about. Right. What? What's this? Well, let's talk to Bill about the message. Chapter 3, I'm going to focus on chapter 3. I'll do the rest of the, the mission of uh, later. Master Proxy, since your friend was most likely on the rooftop of Tower B, perhaps that should be our first destination? That's fine with me, Lycon. Thank you for your help. You are quite welcome. You are our most important guest, and your wish is our command. I do hope we can find Miss Rain soon so you and your friends can rest easy. Dear Guide, would you be so kind as to look at this map of the Ballet Twins? 
As you can see, we are currently located at the entrance to Tower A. According to our carrot, we'll have to go through the central corridor between the two to get to the other building. Affirmative. The information provided by the agent is accurate. This should be your target location. I'll lead the way, everyone. Let's go. We are at your command. Entry into Tower A of the Ballet Twins confirmed. This place still creeps me out, even though I've been here before. Based on our past experiences, let's start heading toward the lights. Let's get going, Master Proxy. So these guys are here again. Remain calm. Let's continue heading towards the lights. We're getting close, Master Proxy. Dang. This light's not the brightest, but it still drove them away. It's safe to proceed now. We've reached the heart of Tower A. You must pass through this door to enter the atrium. The area at the back used to be accessible only to VIPs. Okay. We should look around for the verification device to open the door. Verification device? Why can't they just have one? The switch is on the other side. Let's not waste our energy here. Right. Great! Now, just one more left. Fine, I didn't come back. I wonder if there's a way to retrieve a torch side of some kind. Right, like then. Let's see what you can do. Let's keep walking for now. Steady damage. 
open the door it feels like rich people enjoy making things complicated <sighs> precisely why I find this job exhausting these guys again keep it up wise we're almost there whoa what's wrong there everyone Master, security system access interface detected. Please wait. Connection at 30%. Synchronizing infrared camera view. Connection at 60%. For starting camera flash. The camera flash! No wonder they disappeared. Barry, speed it up. Connection at 100%. System takeover completed. Wow. Everything's so clear now with the infrared camera. Master, you can call this new feature night vision mode. In okay. this mode, you can move your field of view via the camera. While you're moving, the camera flash can keep enemies at bay. You're amazing, Fairy. Wise, try moving around. They're gone! This feature sure is handy. Another door? Let's go check it out. Master Proxy, judging by this guest's body language, it has no ill intent. It wants to thank us for bringing peace to this area. Looks like our judgment was correct. It's smooth sailing now. Loading night vision mode return program. Progress, 99%. 100%. Loading complete. Let's return to EOS for now. We can reconnect anytime we need. Get back. No, I can't hit. Try using night vision mode. again
Master, please enable night vision mode to eliminate the enemies. Oops, my bad. Analyzed. The valve opens only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Let's see if I can find that one more item. Avoid damaging the facilities while eliminating the theories. <laughs> Don't worry, Corin. He's only given briefing warnings. You don't deduct your salary. Oh, that's not what I'm concerned about. This be much older than Proxy. All nearby ethereals have been cleared. Good work. 
Why don't you and the others rest a bit while I calculate the next route? Is it just me, or have the lights been flickering a lot on our way over? Oh, is that so? <laughs> it's happened a few times. Looks like the rumors might be true. What rumors? Huh? What rumors? Oh, you haven't heard, Proxy? Um, <coughs> Alan? What? Was I not supposed to say anything? Boss's mission brief was so long, I didn't read it. But whatever. Rena's here anyway. If the proxy finds out anything, she'll take care of it. Take care of it? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Ellen, Corin, Keep talking like that and you're going to give people the wrong idea about Victoria housekeeping. Dear guide, allow me to clarify. Are you familiar with the supernatural rumors regarding the ballet twins? I don't think I have. The story goes like this. When the ballet twins' buildings were swallowed up by the hollow, a pair of famous dancers, two sisters, died here. Rumor has it that the sisters became the masters of the building and would warn visitors with flickering lights. Now, if those visitors still refuse to leave, the sisters cause a blackout and show up in the darkness to harvest the souls of their visitors. It's an old story, but recently someone claimed to have experienced some similar phenomena in the building. Our master believed letting the rumors spread would inevitably affect the value of the ballet twins. So we were commissioned to investigate the truth under the guise of maintaining the building. So that's the real reason you're here. Originally, we believed the rumors to be the fabrications of troublemakers, but at the very least, it appears power outages do indeed occur. But a power outage could pose a problem. Tower B's atrium is fitted with automated fire-resistant partitions. Power failure causes them to instantly close. Since finding this rain is our priority, to avoid having our route cut off, we should speed things up. And is that the end? I believe he's... No, it's not the end. Try using night vision mode. distance away. Will the lights here manage to last until then? A power outage would make this a huge pain. We better hurry. Oh no. The lights are... Hang in there. We'll reach the atrium soon. Flickering's getting worse. Oh dear. We're in the final stretch now, Master Proxy.
I don't think we'll be jumping right in, into a boss fight immediately. Not so soon. We are approaching the atrium. Let's get this over with quickly. <sighs> Damn, stand! Let's not disappoint our customers! Off you go. Understood. Nice. <laughs> Watch out. More if you will incoming. Fire Ah, uh. you disappoint. <laughs> Incoming threat. Ready and waiting. Let me get what it means. Take it out. 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 Take And there you got the job done. The lights are flickering faster. Let's hurry, everyone. Right. right. You can rely on us to protect you. This way, please. <laughs> Mind your step now, dear. Rina is one thing. Nice. Alan? Oh my, are you hurt? We're almost there. The atrium is just ahead. Not good. Oh no. Oh no. Morlocks. Unfortunately, we are a step too late. The automated partition has completely closed. In other words, Plan oh no. B. We were so close to getting through. Corin, it's a maid's duty to help our guests. You shouldn't look so upset. Do we have any ideas on how to get this door open? There may be a manual switch installed on the partition. Yes. One moment, please. Allow me yeah. to take a look. No need to bother, Rena. It's pretty solid metal, but it shouldn't be a problem for me and Corin to make a hole. Uh... It sounds straightforward, but isn't the building your employer's property? Would that really be okay? I didn't expect you to be such a rule-abiding proxy. Master's concern was about the rumor. Besides, who's gonna find out? Reminder, it would be prudent not to cause any structural damage. As the only structure connecting the two buildings, the atrium is in a highly unstable state due to the hollow. Any sizable blow could lead to localized structural changes. Hey, Abby. After some investigating, I have located the switch on the other side of the corridor. It appears we currently lack the means to get through. 
I suggest we withdraw and take some time to rest. Victoria Housekeeping will investigate the cause of the blackout, and we will surely find a way through. Well, I think that's the end of the mission for now. They have it. Master Proxy, thank you for your call. Found the reason for the blackouts? Have you found out the reason for the blackouts? Though it is just speculation at this point, I believe so. I reviewed the blueprints for the Ballet Twins and discovered the building's power supply solution is quite sound. It can prevent large-scale power outages. What's more, there are independent power stations underneath the building, which is why it was able to maintain its power supply even after it was engulfed by the hollow. So it's not because someone forgot to pay the electric bill. Wait, if that's the case, why would the power suddenly go out? Has the underground power station gone down? That is the logical conclusion. But it is not possible to determine the exact cause of the power failure from the building plans alone. Fortunately, the maintenance file contains solutions in case of power failure. Both buildings of the Ballet Twins have their own separate central control rooms and emergency generator rooms. Not only can these identify the cause of the malfunction, but they can also restore power to the buildings by switching them over to the backup power system. In our next is Q. Looks like our next goal is clear. I shall send you the locations of the central control rooms and the generator rooms. Victoria Housekeeping is ready to depart at your behest. Let's go nice and take two by the way. a lot of missions. As for interview. Yeah, that's a lot of missions. Hold on. Story twin twenty seven. Does that mean three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen? There's a total of nine? Nine. This, this is gonna be a pretty long one for the rest of you. Oh! Only two characters? Really? Nine quest missions though. This is gonna be a long one. According to our previous investigation, we must complete the following steps to restore power. First, investigate the cause of the power outage at the control room. If the issue cannot be easily fixed, we must switch the building's power supply mode to the backup system. Therefore, we must split into two groups, one to operate the central control room, while the other team activates the backup ether generator at its room. Operating the building's electrical circuits in the control room might involve some complex procedures, I believe Sir Lycon would be the best suited to the task. As for the generator room, the main task is to simply move the generators and raw ether materials. If it's physical labor like moving things, I can help. Moving stuff or having to mess around with circuits. Tough choice. One strains the body, the other strains the mind. Nah, I want the generator room. Being grouped with Corin means I won't have to mind my manners. <coughs> Ellen. <clears throat> Despite the somewhat uncouth rationale, it's actually a sensible plan, considering the balance of combat strength between the two teams. Balance of combat strength. Balance of combat strength. 
So who's really the strongest in Victoria housekeeping? <laughs> I'll stay with you, Sir Lycon. Very well. Everyone, move out. Please wait for us in the generator room, all right? Yeah. The central control room is on the left. We should head out as well. Let's go, Wise. Hmm? What's going on? What the hell was that? Uh... Lucky. How lucky! There was a flashlight under the doll. It's the one that was chasing us earlier. The flashlight from that doll came in handy. Let's check the doll again. Only one. What was that? Another one. Up. Two little balls. Whoa, three of them. There are three of them. Seven little doors, five holding hands. Voice recording.
Everyone, the central control room is up ahead. But there seems to be a storeroom with supplies on the left. What an unfortunate accident this is. Master, we have reached the vicinity of the central control room. Hmm? I can barely see anything with the blackout. Huh? Wait a minute! Watch out, Master Proxy. We gotta go help Lycon. Right. Let's do this. That's a very interesting way. Control room to be invaded by ethereals. Sir Lycon, is the equipment all right? The backup power lights on the console are still on. I shall begin an inspection at once. Lycon starts working. I feel really safe there. Hmm? Strange. What is. Uh... What's wrong? Well, what's wrong, Lycon? My apologies. I seem to have caused a misunderstanding. I was talking to myself just now. Actually, I have good news. The central control room is functioning normally. As long as the emergency generator room is operational, power will be restored promptly. There's just one thing that concerns me. From the information here, it does not appear that the underground power station is malfunctioning. Hmm. So what caused the blackout then? It's unclear. There is another central control room in Tower B, Perhaps the power went out because of something there. However, we'll only know once we go through the atrium. Master Proxy, 
Please guide Ellen and Corrin to the generator room and complete the preparations needed there. Okay. So now we shift our point of view to Ellen and Corrin. Allow me to switch the power supply to backup mode. Reconnected to the building security system. Night vision mode reactivated. Allow us to escort you over. Just come to me when you're ready to go. Let's go meet up with Corin and Ellen when you're ready. Lycon has left spot. Lina has left spot as well. Time to borrow the eyes of this building again. Only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Master Proxy. You should go and reunite with Corin and Ellen. Oops. Okay. Are you ready? Don't worry, dear guide. You can come back any time afterward. I'm ready. <laughs> it's us! Let's go! a boring wait. Come on, we'll talk on the way. Corin and I have made some discoveries, like... L like how the generator room is actually pretty close. Terrific! Let's head there now. Yes, Alan and Corin has joined the... team. Those troublesome ethereals along the way have been taken care of. Here just now. Is this? Hmm. There's an empty space. After conducting a simple inspection, I found that the energy module is missing. Oh, this empty space is where the fuel goes. Let's find the heat there. Master, there is a spatial fissure in the elevator ahead. High ether activity reaction detected in the connected space. Hmm? Then, is the ether fuel stored on the other side of the fissure? Corin, Ellen, I'll leave the ethereals in the elevator to you. Activating combat mode. Wait, I'll be done. Ethereals. Let's make this shit. Ellen seems pretty enthusiastic today. What the? I just don't want us to get surrounded in this narrow space. Wow, this is even more crowded than karaoke with Ruby. Ruby? Oh, Miss Ellen's classic? Where are Ruby? Tragic. What 
That's the end. And we up. The spatial fissure is one way. Identifying return route. This place is way darker than the rest of the building. Is that ether fuel? Take care of moving the fuel. You're so reliable, Corin. Leave the pathfinding to us then. this field me. Maybe that's the second one. Hey Wise, let's lend a hand. Returning Fisher located. Let's hurry back and get that generator running again. Let's get that fuel on the generator. Okay, one we'll sit right with you. Great! The generator's indication lights are on now. Second one. All that effort wasn't for nothing after all. room ah wonderful you've made contact how's the situation at the generator room don't worry it's taken care of the generator is ready copy that please press the switch I'll be here to monitor the power a few moments later the lights came on Power to the building is now gradually being restored. To prevent the control room in Tower B from affecting the power supply, I have isolated the power supply for Tower A. Let's meet up in front of the atrium and head to Tower B. Hopefully, we'll find more information about your friend once we arrive. The building's lights are coming back on, but it'll take some time. Master nice Proxy, the nearby gate is now open. Rena and I will head over to you at once. Night vision mode is disabled due to a switch in the power supply. Oh, that's one. Oops. Use the lights to stop these guys. A 
avoid them. We shouldn't get distracted now. Uh, more and more just keep coming. Lycon, has the power still not been restored? Master Proxy, I apologize for my late arrival. Mm -hmm. Ellen, Corin, thank you for your hard work. That's the passage to the atrium. Now that we're all here, let's charge! I got a feeling. Okay, so what's next? Bring it. It opened. Great. It's thanks to our great guide that we could restore power so quickly. Our master will surely be grateful too. Oh, don't mention it. Backpack? Hmm? What's that up ahead? Uh, this is... Hmm? Do you recognize this backpack? Yeah, this is definitely Reigns. So, she really has been here. There might be some clues inside. Device. It seems to be on a timer. It doesn't look dangerous. Watch out! Wait. Boss fight already? Whoa. Boss fight? Seriously? Where did that come from? Since we've been invited to dance, I suppose we should oblige. Boss fight? Boss fight! Please find somewhere safe to hide. Allow us to take care of this aggressive guest. Clear out! comes from more than just the unknown. Don't get careless now. Where <laughs> the enemy's movement has become sluggish. Whoa! Let's do our best, everyone. Move it! Base two. What a difficult guest. It appeared out of nowhere when the music started. Does that mean that? Hey, Ethereal, hmm? over here. <sighs> Lucky there was a rift down there. It was attracted yeah. by the music. It seems someone is trying to use Ethereals against us. Did Rain do this? No, she couldn't. Now what? Ellen, leave one of them conscious. Ah, <sighs> uh, all four of them. So there are people here besides us. But who are they? No. Oh. Thanks for that just now. <laughs> Ellen, what's wrong? She needs help. It's nothing. She's just asleep. 
Oh. So fussy. <sighs> it doesn't appear that they'll be waking up anytime soon. We should get them out of the hollow. And it looks like this case is not over yet. I'll level up myself. Brother, is that the reference to solo leveling? <laughs> Was that a reference to solo leveling? Good, you're back. Are you in EOS okay? No injuries? My don't worry, we're both fine. My apologies, Master. As I was still processing hollow data, I did not detect the approaching enemy's heat signals in time. It's not your fault, Fairy. Just keep processing. Thank you for trusting in me, Master. Ethereal's in the atrium, then a bunch of unidentified armed individuals show up? What's going on? Looks like things with Rain aren't that simple. I wonder what Victoria Housekeeping thinks about things. We only said we were looking for our friend. So what do we do now? The attackers we captured might know where Rain is. We'll have to question them when they wake up. Yeah, thinks about thinks about heavily armed inside a building in a hollow. They must have been up to no good. I want to go check on Ellen too. If she hadn't acted in time, Eos and I would have been in serious danger. You're right. We should definitely thank her. Well, Ellen seems to like candy, and we bought a lot recently. Why don't you bring her some? It's not a very expensive gift, but it'll at least show our appreciation. What? to the belly between them split Congratulations, dear guest, on finally making up your mind. If you'd come to this realization earlier, it would have saved us both a lot of effort. Uh, what's going on here? Ah, dear guide, you're here. Please don't mind us. Our guest just woke up and wanted to leave without permission. So we asked him to stay for a while. Sir Soldier, as a member of a rebel army, you should be well aware of the consequences if we turn you over to public security. If you tell us the truth as to why you are at the Ballet Twins, we may just let you go. <sighs> All right, then. Well, our unit sponsor commissioned us to do something on the roof of the Tower B of the Ballet Twins. Be more specific, please. I... Yeah, I'm just a grunt. I don't know the specifics. A few of us were tasked with guarding the perimeter. 
If we found someone had entered the Ballet Twins, we were to prevent them from getting too close to Tower B. So you're the ones who caused the blackout? Uh, yeah. At first, I thought you were all just explorers messing around, and I could just scare you into staying away. I didn't expect you'd get the power back on so quickly. Our squad leader said, with your kind of power, you're definitely not ordinary people. You're probably here to save that girl, so we lured that weird ethereal. Wait. Wait, that girl? Where's Rain? What have you done to her? That little... Yeah, girl... ...is with our squad leader on the roof of Tower B. She isn't in any danger. I take it you're admitting to kidnapping Miss Rain. Rena, keep pressing him for details. Master Proxy, may we talk in private? Oh boy. Situation just got tense. I'm sure someone with your intellect knows what I want to ask next. You want to know who Rain really is? Precisely. Rebels have occupied the Ballet Twins, and Rain seems to be quite important to them. If you are reluctant to share information openly with us, it's likely to impact our next move. Oof. Next move? Does that mean you're still willing to work with us? Instead of leaving it all to public security? I'm sure you understand our employer is quite well known in New Eridu. As representatives of our employer, if we depend on public security for a simple task like property maintenance, Victoria Housekeeping cannot allow such idle gossip to arise, tarnishing our master's reputation. And since we've confirmed Miss Rain has been kidnapped, Victoria Housekeeping cannot stand by and watch criminals use our master's property for such misdeeds. So, in other words, we share the same goal. As I said before, if you wish to work with us, I hope you'll be honest with us. Very well then. Thanks, Lycon. I get what you mean. We wanted to keep Rain's secrets, but now's not the time for hiding things. Rain is actually a hacker. If you'd chosen to seek help from public security, we'd have been in real trouble. I see. If Miss Rain is a hacker, then they must have kidnapped her because they knew of her abilities. And the Ballet Twins' rooftop is the perfect location to transmit messages. Those thugs are still guarding the building, which means their mission is still ongoing. We need to save Rain as soon as possible. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. Victoria Housekeeping is of the same mind. I'll make preparations for the rescue. Please wait for further contact. Understood. <laughs> awesome. Play. Okay, what's next?
Oh. Receiving hackery. Wait. Was that a reference to saving Private Ryan? I swear, this game and the, 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 the amount of references. Saving Hacker Rain is literally. Is, the title is literally a reference to saving Private Ryan. What the hell? Yeah, saving Hacker Rain. <laughs> it went from saving Private Ryan to saving Hacker Rain. Genius. Anyhow. This is the final fight? Um, does that mean this is the end of chapter 3? I don't think so. Master Proxy, Rina and I have been monitoring several of the building's exits. The rebels are still on guard and show no signs of leaving. Seems likely they haven't completed their mission since they haven't left yet. Indeed. With the perimeter guards now out of contact, they've undoubtedly heightened their defenses. I'm afraid this operation is likely to involve a direct confrontation. We'll need to break through the enemy's defenses as quickly as possible to save Miss Rain. Right. We're counting on you to help save Rain. Master, I have good news. I have finished decoding the building's hollow data and can now detect heat signals in real time. Nice. We can finally get a full view of the inside of the ballet twins. Perfect timing. Protect the proxy, everyone. Let's move out. Master, I have located the nearest biothermal signal. Guards, they might know something about rain. get through here master i have found a torn newspaper on the ground in many of your favorite video games using items is a common way of collecting secret clues A few little ones blocking the way in Tower B. Watch out, everyone. The enemies are up ahead. 
Hex baby come back bro like these are just the henchmen. The hostage must be with their leader. Lycon, what's this device they had on them? It looks like some kind of transmitter. You are correct. This is a military-issued G03 multi-frequency signal transmitter. It's quite powerful. Along with the right multimedia devices, it could even aid intelligence operatives in hacking into high-level security systems. Wow. I'm surprised you'd even know about this sort of thing. What kind of work do you usually do? I apologize if that surprises you. For housekeepers such as us, this is simply common knowledge. R really Well, at least now we can confirm they kidnapped Rain for her hacking abilities. Hey, I found this with all the enemy's crap. Wait, isn't that the airship the court uses? Timetables, route maps. They even have hardware diagrams of the integrated control system. Master, there was an incoming call from Billy. Allow me to connect you. Hey, manager, is that you? We've got trouble! Things just went down big time on the airship! Calm down, Billy. Tell us what happened. <sighs> okay, so, like ten minutes ago, Perlman said he needed to check his suit, and the guards okayed it. But the moment he opened his suitcase, smoke exploded everywhere! Then everyone on the ship passed out, including the pilot! I was saved by my air intake malfunction. What? So who's flying the ship right now? It's in autopilot mode. It won't be crashing for now. But manager, I noticed something. Its scheduled route has been changed! It's flying straight toward the hollow where the ballet twins are! What? It won't be long now until we plunge straight in! What the hell? What do I do, manager? Should I report it? Will they even believe me? Based on what Mr. Billy said, the airship route was changed a while ago, but nobody on the outside has heard about it. Looks like this is Rain's handiwork. Looks like this is Rain's handiwork. She not only took control of the airship, but she must have also faked the signal 
to make everyone think it's still on the correct course. Oh, man. Hang on. What are you guys talking about? What's Rain got to do with this? Long story short, Mr. Billy, Miss Rain was abducted by a group of rebels, and they used her to control your airship. What? Wait, if it really was Rain, I don't think Pubsick can handle it. Oh, no. Is this the end? Calm down. There's only one person that can deal with this crisis now, and that's Rain. The proxy is right. Victoria Housekeeping is currently with the proxy in the Ballet Twins attempting to save Miss Rain. If we can save her in time, we may still be able to change the airship's final destination. Seriously? Like on... Manager, do you really think so? Don't worry, we'll save the airship. Stay in contact though, we might still need your help. Got it! Master. I have calculated the airship's flight trajectory. The airship will pass 15 meters above the ballet twins in 25 minutes before making contact with the hollow less than 30 seconds thereafter. Let's hurry, everyone. This really is the final part of chapter 3. Didn't expect this. Let's pick up the pace. Look, Wise, there's a key next to the enemy. One. I've detected a fissure to the upper level behind that door. One man. That's our target. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. Wait, this is some key. We've got to a new area. Let's keep going. What the hell? Oh no. Boss fight. Wait, there's two of them? to the circuit system of the new area established. Elevator leading to the rooftop area detected. It appears we can use the elevator to close in on the enemy. Great idea. Let's circle around and ambush them. Master, I have found a torn newspaper on the ground. It may provide you with some clues. only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. The lock is not smart tech, so unfortunately, I cannot help you open it. It's open. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. technical reasons this elevator can only travel in one direction you cannot return once you go up 
Are you certain you want to activate the elevator now? Done. a hollow exit that leads to the rooftop okay nearby thermal signal detected biometric signature matched rain rain spotted we found rain but there's enemies everywhere or looks let's approach the target with caution
Don't get in my way. Wait, Captain. Didn't the employer ask us to bring her back and find out how much she leaked? Mm, they're already on to us. We won't get away if we're stuck carrying dead weight. We were paid to do a job. We completed our primary task. There's no point in putting our lives on the line. We'll just say she didn't survive the ether corruption. Bastards. Sorry, but it's your own fault for knowing too much. Oh no. What? Woof! Nice one, Lycon. Oh no! They're taking a hostage! And... Uh, you got your ass whooped. Uh, damn it! Leave the hostage! Everyone, retreat! Should we pursue, Sir Lycon? No. Saving Miss Rain and the airship is more important. Yeah. Rain! Rain! Are you okay? Don't worry, you're safe. We're friends of Nicole. We're here to save you. You're... You're really here to save me? Yes. Quick, get to the rooftop. We're running out of time. The court's airship is about to... Oh no. What was that? It came from above. I'm afraid this won't be easy. Reporting in, Captain. The timed explosives have detonated as planned. Hollow structural changes have been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. More oh, locked. Copy that. <laughs> they took the hostage back, but they can't save the airship now. Bastards. Master, a significant change to the upper floors of the building has been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. More oh, locked. Those thugs did it. No wonder they abandoned the hostage. They were prepared for this. Fairy, search for another path to the rooftop immediately. Master, I have located a hollow exit leading to the rooftop of the building. Nice. The exit is located near Ballet Twins Tower B. Estimated travel time, seven minutes. As we have to traverse high corruption areas along the way, possibly encountering dangerous ethereals, I cannot calculate the precise time needed. Don't worry, Master Proxy. Ethereals won't stop Victoria housekeeping. I know you must be physically and mentally exhausted, Miss Rain, but we're counting on you to deal with the airship. If all we need is to break control over the airship, I can disable the jamming equipment as soon as we reach the rooftop. But I heard them say to ensure the plan went smoothly, everyone on board was knocked out. Is there anyone left to steer it out of the hollow? One. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Billy is still awake, but he doesn't know how to pilot an airship. That's the problem. Rain being able to free the airship is already sufficient. Please leave the rest to Victoria Housekeeping. According to our intel, the airship should fly a short distance above the Ballet Twins. Since the airship lacks a pilot, I shall be the replacement. Ah? Uh -huh. The original exit has been destroyed. They really didn't hold back. Luckily, Master Proxy has found us another way out. So many ethereals on the way to Tower B. Is it really okay? Please, leave them to us. We'll be counting on you then. Now that I've recharged, it's time I get serious. Try all the tools you can find. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. E? I will try my best not to engage these enemies then. Your prowess is indeed impressive, Master Proxy.
One step at a time. Maybe can go here. Let's do one step at a time. Something else, Proxy. Hey, if we receive a compliment, I assume that uh we managed to snap them in without Paper on the ground. There are some handwritten words on it. Right. Let's freaking do this. Let's freaking do this. Prepare to break through. Right. Huh. Wait. Something isn't right. Boss fight. The music. Isn't it the same as before? It's the Ethereal from the Atrium. It seems our guests haven't had enough fun yet. Wait. There are two of them? What? There's two of them. Is the story actually true? We're running out of time. Rest assured, Master Proxy. For Victoria housekeeping, it's plenty of time. Your wish is our command. Let's go. Let's do this. They do have the style of dancers, but now isn't the time to admire their moves. Nice. Warning. The airship is almost here. Stay back. Enemies are looking tired already. <laughs> I found you. Time to clean the field. Don't look Alan. at me. Ellen. Ah. Out of the 
Mission continues. Onward. <gasps> a strong anesthetic, but they'll wake up in an hour or two. Nice. I owe you big time, Lycon. Ah, oh, you're too kind. We are honored to have worked with you, Master Proxy. It is thanks to your assistance we were able to safeguard our Master's honor. Mm. Word from public security is that the rescue squad and Air Force are on the way! Billy, we can't let Rain get taken in by public security. Her identity as a hacker is unique and she hacked into the airship while under duress. We'll take her into the hollow and make our exit from there. You know how to deal with public security when they get here, right? I didn't inhale the gas, so I piloted the airship here for an emergency landing upon discovering what had happened. Oh, right. Speaking of which, after all that's happened, can we still hold the vision trial? Public security will likely take Perlman back and then reopen the trial. I'll leave this to you then. We'll get going. Take care, guys. Uh, uh. Uh, thanks. Punishing evil and upholding justice is the mission of the cutting hair. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what Nicole's face is gonna look like when she wakes up and finds out what happened today. Hmm? What's that sound? Ah! What the hell? Perlman! Huh. Weren't expecting me to wake up so soon, were you? Oh, come Those on. Bastards. They pretended to agree to my demands, but they wanted me dead from the start. If I get taken back to public security, I doubt I'll even make it through the night. The way things are, I better get the heck out of New Era, New Pronto! Bollocks. Now Pullman's escaping. Damn it. I hope. I really hope that's the end of Chapter 3, man. I really do. Okay, some of this later. Good morning. You remember what day it is, right? The trial. I remember. We agreed to meet Rain today. Rain sure is impressive. She only had it for a few days and she already cracked it. I wonder how she's been doing lately. After getting out of the ballet twins, she stayed in a Victoria housekeeping safe house for fear of those militants. Let's be sure to ask how she's really doing when we meet up later. We're finally learning something about the memory unit. But Perlman managed to get away on the airship. The Vision Corporation trial had to be postponed. Also, I saw on Internaut the buyer of the ballet twins gave up buying the building and paid a penalty. 
For fear of those two weird ethereals? Or perhaps because the building was almost involved in an airship hijacking? Well, all that aside, let's meet up with Rain first. Kaleida and Grace will be coming later too. Right. Say we're not done yet. But I believe this is like the, 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 the epilogue of chapter 3 or some kind. Morning, managers. You're five minutes early. How have you been doing, Rain? I've been laying low these days, but Victoria Housekeeping has been taking care of me. I'll be back to my normal life soon. Thank you both for saving me. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Don't say that. It's thanks to you we saved the airship. But if you don't mind me asking, how did you get mixed up in all of this? Well, since it's you asking, I guess I don't have any reason to hide anything. A while ago, I was contacted by an unfamiliar client who refused to disclose the specifics of a job, but who was paying very well. I pressed them for details and they said we could meet. Yeah, I thought it was suspicious, but I was swayed by the money. So that's it. But you're amazing, Rain! Even taken hostage, you managed to get a call for help heard from atop the ballet twins. Considering how it all turned out, it's a good thing it was discovered. Their employer wanted to know what I leaked. That's the only reason they kept me alive. So who's their employer? I'm not sure. They never showed up. I only got a phone call telling me about the airship. But I did overhear something. Their main reason for attacking the airship was to get rid of Pearlman. They also mentioned some sacrifice? Sacrifice? What do you think they mean? Sorry, that's all I know. Oh yeah, I've got your thing here. It's all good. Thanks so much. Don't mention it. I'm just returning the favor, so I'm not charging this time. You're gonna investigate the memory unit next, right? Guess I'll leave you to it then. I'm sure next time I see you, it'll be as a customer at the video store. And as a friend, of course. You're welcome at random play anytime. Kalita and the others should be arriving soon, Wise. We should be getting back. Wait. Okay. Back to the video store. Oh, Grace and Kalita. Good. So, I hear you tried to find someone who could crack the memory unit and get dragged into another major incident. I'm guessing it was Nicole who told you? It was a close call this time. Several of the cunning hairs almost met their end. Anyway, at least everyone's safe now. It feels like the city's been on edge lately, but maybe it's because I'm always thinking about that monster. I wanted to decrypt the data on that memory unit as soon as possible, but now I'm a little nervous to find out what's on it. Don't worry, Sweet Pea. Whatever we find on it, we'll face it together. <laughs> Grace is right. Okay, Fairy, you're up. Analyze the data on the memory unit. Yes, Master. Analyzing memory unit data. Oh. Master, a fragment of audio data has been detected. Its last recorded system time is the day before the fall of the old capital. Audio mm -hmm. data? Are you able to play the audio? Affirmative. In that case, do the honors. Right. Loading audio. Please wait. <laughs> Looks like... Uh. It's my old man. Sounds like he's hurt. Oh no. Calm down, sweet pea. This recording was years ago. Oh, <gasps> horse is talking to someone. I told you. Pretend you know nothing. We'd all be fine. 
I'm a father. How could I let something that threatens my daughter's life go free? Dad, you idiot. I know I'm not going to make it. Just tell me, the monster in the monument, what is it? Okay, consider it your last wish. It's called a sacrifice. What? What did he say? S sacrifice Wise, did he just say sacrifice? Yes, he What's did. What's up with you two, Faithen? That name... We've heard it once today already. Yeah. A reliable source informed us that the reason someone was going after the court's airship was to do away with Pearlman. And those same people mentioned the word sacrifice. Yeah. What? Wait. So Pearlman is somehow related to what we're investigating? Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaleda. But Pearlman hasn't been heard from since he stole the airship. He's probably already run off to the outer ring, right? All right. We'll just have to find out what's going on over there then. I Lycon? never expected to be investigating the same matter as our guide. Sir Lycon, they know about the sacrifice. Is it okay to let them continue their investigation? Oh, they know as well. It's no issue. Master has had a change of plan and given us new instructions. Provide them assistance or guidance as needed. They're too involved to keep them out. But perhaps they can become our allies. Inspect the prototype memory you need with Kuleda and Grace to verify that there, that no useful information remains on it. After that, you discuss your many doubts about the vision case and events from many years ago. It's already night time after sending them off. Our next move. Force really was murdered, and it's possible that he deliberately tricked the culprit into spilling the monster's name. Sacrifice. Now we know the monster's name, and it seems the person who tried to off Tormund is somehow mixed up in all of this. Culprit behind all of this. Oh. Wait, it's finished. Okay. And so that's the end of chapter three. Woo! Caught airship hijacked by hacker. Not surprisingly, Perman's escape caused quite a burst on the internet. Ask about the outer ring. The outer ring. Sacrifice. What exactly is it? Looks like all of our important matters have come to an end. Looks like things have only just begun though. Icon agent story and the true hero are always behind the scene have been recorded and keep in view in the video archive. Oh, Venus uh, video agent story is available as well. Life has returned to normal. Rebuild the internet account. Oh. 
Oh right, because uh, we've already killed chapter 3, so a new boss fight, a weekly boss has been unlocked. Alright, so that wraps up chapter 3. And as a matter of fact, right? Yeah, as you can see, I've successfully cleared chapter 3 before. <laughs> The before version 1.1 drops, so I'm just gonna click on the clip button.